Adasi, a regional leader in autonomous systems and services, and a subdivision of EDGE, based in the United Arab Emirates, unveiled three local-made new unmanned ground vehicles during IDEX 2021 in Abu Dhabi. Scorpio M, Scorpio S, and a new armed robotic vehicle based on the Nimr Ashban 440A. Scorpio M is a mini UGV fully developed in the United Arab Emirates and specially designed for special forces, providing situational awareness in open air and indoor urban environments. It can be used to conduct intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance I-STAR operations. Scorpio M is based on a four-wheel platform electrically powered by a lithium-ion battery. This UGV can move at a maximum speed of 10 km per hour on hard surface. It is 58 cm long, 21.5 cm high without payload and 38 cm wide. It can negotiate a side slope of 40 degrees and climb a stair up to 20 cm. With its multivisual and stair climbing capabilities, the Scorpio M is ideal for monitoring access points and other areas of interest. One of the key features of Scorpio M is its whisper mode, offering a noise level inferior to 48 decibels, which is very useful during reconnaissance and observation missions, especially inside a building during counter-terrorist or urban combat operation. Scorpio M is a lightweight and portable UGV, with a weight of 15 kilos and a capacity to carry a payload of up to 10 kilos, with an endurance of up to 2 hours. It can be fitted with different payload options, including CBRN, sound location, small caliber weapon and non-lethal system modules. Scorpio N can be operated by one operator, thanks to the use of a single interface that has an indoor and line-of-sight communication range of 500 meters. The whole system, including the UGV and the control station, can be transported in a backpack. Scorpio M as an integrated communication system to operate with other UGVs. Additional features also include multivisual awareness, low video latency, mesh communication system topology, and interactive geomap and mission setup. A representative of EDGE provides some additional details about the Scorpio M. Um, so the Scorpio M was designed to be able to go and do that uh, surveillance to give situational awareness to, to operatives uh, before engaging in a hostile environment. So uh, the Scorpio M uh, really is uh, to give you that visual awareness. So much like with the Scorpio S, uh, it has integrated front and rear cameras, it has a pan tilt to camera on the top, uh, but it also has integrated acoustic sensors to give you um, localization uh, of uh, noises uh, in, in an environment. So we can see we also have a man portable ground control station. So you can either operate it from the universal ground control station that uh, is able to uh, operate both, or we have a man portable uh, GCS to, um, to operate the mini. Yeah, so the, the track system over there is to be able to give you traction when you're doing stair climbing. So, you know, usually when you want to do stair climbing, you will see most UGVs uh, employ a tracked uh, system. So with our flipper arms, that gives you the ability to lift it uh, and to move up the stairs. With the track system over there, being able to catch on the ridge of the stairs uh, and get you to move up. Because uh, the wheeled system gives you a much lower noise signature than a traditional track system. So, so these were the launch of, uh, of the first uh, units, uh, which following IDEX, we will go into a series of uh, customer demonstrations. Um, of, of course, looking at perhaps uh, any additional systems that need to be integrated, you can envisage integrating onto this uh, chemical detectors, uh, you could uh, integrate onto these other payloads, um, you can also integrate on for CBRN type applications. So the idea is not uh, that only in these configurations, that you have a base platform and architecture that we can make many variants of um, for different use, use cases. 
Scorpio S can be fitted with a wide range of equipment and weapon systems. This UGV, based on a track platform, offers a high level of mobility in all terrain conditions. The UGV has the capacity to move at a top speed of nearly 13 km per hour on hard surface and can negotiate a side slope of 45 degrees and climb a stair up to 30 cm. It weighs 195 kilos and can carry a payload of 100 kilos. Scorpio S has been designed to be utilized in missions like counterterrorism and reconnaissance in operations aiming at liberating hostages. It can also serve to provide security across strategic facilities. In a word, this UGV can be tailored to security and military unit needs, mainly special forces. The Scorpio S features a wide range of optional functionalities and equipment including a robotic arm capable of lifting 10 kilos. In this case, the UGV can be used by EOD teams for surveillance and neutralization of explosive threats from a safe standoff distance. The surveillance system enables the robot operator to examine suspicious objects with high resolution in real time. The robotic arm, which weighs 6.8 kilos, can be extended to a maximum length of 1 meter 35 centimeters. The grip mounted on the arm can be used to open doors, provide assistance in passing obstacles, moving debris, inspecting suspicious items, etc. Scorpio S can also be fitted with a remote weapon station armed with a 5.56mm weapon. The UGV is controlled by an operator using a control panel from a UGV, the remote weapon station and the PTZ pan, tilt and zoom system. It has a communication range of 1.5 km in indoor conditions and 3 km in line of sight, an imaginary line that stretches between the operator and the device manipulated. In option, Scorpio S capabilities can be enhanced with additional features including integrated communication with other UGVs, multivisual awareness, mesh communication systems topology, mission planning software, interactive geomap and mission setup. A representative of Edge provides some additional details about the Scorpio S. Uh, you can see that it has uh, flipper arms uh, that can be extended on both the front and the back and this gives it the ability to do stair climbing. It was also v uh, important when we designed it with a very narrow body, so 890 millimeters, um, to ensure that this can go through any standard doorway so that this can maneuver um, in inside any building um, scenario. Uh, so we've integrated, it's got uh, two LiDAR cameras uh, that are fused, uh, the information is synthesized, which gives us very good situational awareness and obviously that's required for autonomous driving uh, capability. Um, we also have integrated integrated acoustic sensors uh, around the which which gives us the ability to not only detect sound but actually also localize where that sound is so when we're in an environment we can get uh, an accurate picture of where uh, um, you know sound is coming from if there's gunfire we can localize the point of origin for that um, we've integrated onto this uh, um, a, uh, a camera system on the front, uh, obviously for uh, observation. Uh, that's in addition to the forward and uh, rear cameras which are used for, for driving. We also have a robotic arm that's able to lift up to uh, 10 kilograms. On the front of uh, the UGV we also have a cutting disc located underneath um, and you know as we see in many mall scenarios where you often have a pole in the way of escalators and that so we've envisaged from the outset the ability to remove obstacles and that so that the UGV can uh, you know move unheeded uh, in any interior environment. The ground control station was uh, developed as a universal ground control station to operate uh, both the, the Scorpio S and the Scorpio M. Uh, so over here we have the control station uh, for the UGV platform, the control for the robotic arm, as well as the integrated control for the remote weapon station. Adasi collaborated with Nimmer, a sister company within Edge Group, to convert the Ashban 440A armored vehicle into an unmanned system called the Ashban Armed Robotic Vehicle or ARV. Ashban 440A is a 4x4 light projected vehicle fully designed and manufactured in the United Arab Emirates by Nimmer. In standard configuration, the vehicle is fitted with a four-man cabin providing protection against improvised explosive devices, blasts and ballistic threats. The roof of the vehicle is fitted with a remotely operated weapon station that can be armed with a machine gun or an automatic grenade launcher. The vehicle has a payload of 1,200 kilos. The vehicle integrates different types of cameras and optics offering 360-degree visibility, day and night situational awareness. 
If necessary, the vehicle can also be used in manned conditions. In robotic use, Ashban 440A ARV provides the usual advantages of keeping personnel away from lethal threats encountered on a battlefield and other dangerous situations. The vehicle is then controlled by two portable control stations, one to manage the vehicle and the other one to operate the weapon station and, if applicable, other UGVs. The whole system integrates mission planning software enabling the vehicle to ascertain information by assisting the operator in specifying the mission goals and constraints as well as automating the translation and elaboration of military objectives into robotic actions. Ashban 440 ARV also includes an interactive geomap to create maps of regions and colored markers as well as a mission setup to conduct predefined missions in fully autonomous conditions. The communication system between the vehicle and control boxes offer a maximum range of up to 12 km in line of sight. The vehicle in unmanned use can run at a maximum speed of 50 km per hour with a maximum endurance of 8 hours.